Welcome back. We're spending time today giving this home an energy check. It allows you to discover just how energy efficient this home is and how you can make it better. We just finished checking for leaks. Now we're going to inspect the ductwork. Rob, why do we need to look at the ductwork? Right. The ductwork is going to be absolutely critical because it basically functions as a circulatory system for the house. It makes sure that all the air that you're paying to heat up and cool get down gets delivered where you want it and where you want where you want it, how you want it to make sure your home is as comfortable as it can be. What do you do if you have holes in your ductwork? You got uh, leak, leaks in your ductwork. If work? you have leaks in your ductwork, uh, a great test is to sign up for one of our comprehensive audit, and it's going to uh, basically do a mini blow door test for the ductwork exclusively. And we want the ductwork to be absolutely as airtight as possible to make sure that the air that you're paying to heat up and cool down gets delivered where you want it. And again, this will really help pinpoint or allow in terms of the diagnosis uh, of of the issues you've got through your ducts. Absolutely, uh, by measuring how tight your duct system is, we're going to be able to, to tell how much sealing you actually need to do on your duct work to make sure that it's getting where you want it to go. All right, let's take a look at the, at the test if we can. So you've got a fan here and you're, and you're going to force air through the whole system and then that gives you, gives you the readout. What we're looking for out of this test is uh, the, D, the Department of Energy suggests that uh, for every 100 square feet you have about 4 CFM of airflow. Um, and so for a house of this size, we're looking for something on the area, something in the arena of about 80, uh, 80 CFM when it gets pressurized. Um, typical houses are going to be around 10 or 12, and that's going to uh, give us a reading of about uh, 200 to 300 on this particular test. And you're getting some good numbers on this now? We're getting some good numbers on this. And uh, what this will help us do is it gives us a baseline for what we're working off of, and then we'll go back out and uh, go through the house, do the ceiling work, come back, test it again, and we'll know what kind of difference we made. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that. So you, you, you do the test now. How do we, how do we go in and, and fix the, the, the leakage that we right. have? The best material uh, for most people is going to be able to use is a material called duct mastic. Um, and uh, this is available at most hardware stores. It's very relatively inexpensive, and you can apply it either with your hand or with a paintbrush. Uh, for holes like this, it's going to be a really great option. You just take a little dab on your finger and swipe over it. That's going to be sealed pretty much forever. Uh, or you can take a paintbrush and run it along all of your seams uh, in all of the duct work. And that's going to create that really good seal for you. Now, on a previous episode of Powerhouse, we had some uh, spray sealant inside the ductwork. How about that? That's going to be a good option for houses that are more than one story, where you have ductwork running through either interior walls or outside walls where you can't actually get to the ductwork and do that sealing work. Uh, but for places like here in this basement or this home where the ductwork is all exposed, you're going to have uh, great results just from using uh, duct mastic and maybe some fiberglass tape in addition to the duct mastic. Now, what if someone says, gee, maybe I need to get in and really kind of clean inside? Do you recommend that like with brushes? Uh, what's going to happen is if you change your air furnace filter regularly, you aren't ever going to need to get inside and clean your ductwork. Aside from that, uh, the brushes and uh, the brushes that are used to clean the ductwork actually can score the inside of the ducts and increase the surface area, which actually decreases airflow and is going to adversely affect your system efficiency. Do more harm than help in that Do situation. Do more harm than help, absolutely. Now, another question we come across uh, is, you know, during the wintertime, I might close off a, a room in my house. I don't want to heat that. Is that a good idea? Generally speaking, closing off a room is not going to be effective as far as doing energy savings because uh, air handlers, which is the blower fan inside of a furnace, is designed to move a specific amount of air all through the house. And when you close off, that's going to cause an air traffic jam in your duct system and actually keep that air from being distributed as efficiently as you want it to. Aside from that, since that room is still inside of your house, inside of your building envelope, that's still going to be heated and cooled and make its way into the rest of the house. So the air that's in there, you're still going to heat up and cool down, and that's going to adversely affect your system efficiency too. Rob, that's, that's very good because, again, you get common sense kind of thinks, well, I'm not using that room. Let's close it off. I don't need to heat that. But uh, what you just said makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, Rob, a lot, a lot of great information. Duck work, again, it's, 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 it's crucial in terms of keeping it sealed up and you know, you're paying for that, that warm air to get to your house. You might as well make sure it gets to where it needs to go, right? Absolutely, because we don't want to heat up your basement when you're trying to heat up your bedroom. Sounds great. Rob, thanks for the great information. My pleasure.
Pete, we saw a lot of interesting ways to evaluate a home's energy efficiency today. Well, you really did, Megan. It's amazing to see how different parts of a home can work together to determine your home's overall energy efficiency. That's right. A high efficiency furnace is only as good as the ductwork supplying the warm or cool air to your home. And if your home doesn't have good seals on windows, doors, and ductwork, then warm or cool air will escape easily. If you'd like to get a home energy assessment, you can start by contacting your local utility company. They may offer an assessment along with other energy efficiency programs. And after you've made some of the recommended improvements from the audit testing, you may find you have fewer drafts, more consistent temperatures across rooms, and better comfort. Not to mention lower utility bills. You bet. It's one more way to save you money and make sure your house is a powerhouse. Megan's wardrobe provided by Dress Barn.